When we hear about autism and ADHD, the focus can often be quite negative. So we talk about the difficulties of being autistic or living with ADHD, or we hear from the people that love and care for us about the challenges of looking after or living with someone with these conditions. Obviously this is fine. We all need to share our challenges and hearing from others going through the same thing can make us feel less alone. It can also help us to build a community and find direct solutions to the things that we're struggling with. But today I want to look at things from a different angle. I want to focus on the positives. The strengths and talents that being autistic or having ADHD or for the luckiest of us living with both can bring. Disclaimer. Naturally, everyone who is neurodivergent will be different, and not all of us will have any or all of the strengths and talents I'm about to talk about. If you don't, do not feel bad. I am entirely confident that you have many strengths and many talents and are an entirely awesome human being. So just think about this video as me sending some positivity out there and recognising what awesome and amazing individuals neurodivergent people in fact are. So let's start with an obvious one. Honest and direct communication. If you ask us a question, you are likely to get an honest answer. Unless, of course, this talent has been squashed by helpful people trying to make us more neurotypical with special neurotypical training, because that way of being human is the correct way of being human. Not all neurotypicals find our way of communicating uncomfortable. I have friends who have told me that they find it refreshing that I am direct and honest. It can be helpful to not have to play games or interpret subtext to know what a person is thinking. It's also helpful to know that they're unlikely to have a hidden agenda, that is, saying one thing but meaning another. Or need something from you, but not ask directly, instead give you clues from which you can work out what it is that they need from you. Seriously, just tell me what you need from me. It's really challenging to figure out that what I thought you meant was completely wrong. I also really value my neurodivergent friends for this quality. I know that if I've asked them something or said something, their response is likely to be an honest response, and so I don't have to then spend hours and hours overanalyzing and trying to figure out what they meant. I can just trust that they meant what they said. It saves a lot of overthinking. Another strength is our attention to detail. It's often said that autistic people miss the bigger picture because they're too focused on the small details. But being focused on the small details can actually be a good thing. In fact, many companies hire autistic workers for this skill, to be able to find errors in code or doing editing and finding grammatical mistakes. Side note, it also apparently makes us really good at Where's Wally, a fact that is often shared about autism, which makes me feel deeply insecure about my autism because I suck at Where's Wally. Didn't get that gift. It also means that we can learn and advance areas of interest fully, because we tend to dive deep on a topic to learn all of the details so that we can fully understand it. Which leads me on nicely to strong interests, excellent declarative memory and a tendency to hyperfocus, which is the perfect combination for gaining expert knowledge or great skill in a particular area. Memory can be both a strength and a challenge for neurodivergent people. That's because there are different types of memory. So, for example, people with autism, ADHD, dyslexia and dyspraxia can have problems with working memory which is the ability to hold new information whilst performing mental or physical tasks related to that information. So information which we receive, use quickly and then discard. So remembering what you wanted from the supermarket or remembering that you said you'd call your friend next Tuesday. My working memory is really bad. I always tell people, if you don't see me write it down, it ain't gonna happen. However, we tend to have really good declarative memory, which is the conscious recollection and storage of information. This means that we can learn about something in great detail and then recall the knowledge when needed, which is really useful for exams or just demonstrating knowledge on a particular topic. It's why some autistic people can remember phone numbers, passwords and other strings of information really easily. Not me though, I don't use my declarative memory like that. For me, it gives me the ability to know lots of song lyrics and remember all the meals I ever ate. The first is actually really useful because I really love singing and it means that I can sing along to all my favourite songs easily. When my children were little and we'd drive around in the car, they would say to me, do you know the lyrics to all of the songs? Because I would just be singing along to everything that came on the radio and they were properly impressed. It's so much easier to impress children when they're tiny. 
The second is fairly random. If you spent time with me in the last 20 years and we ate, I can usually recollect exactly what we ate. In fact, I usually remember events like this. Oh yes, I remember the day that we met. We went for sushi and then afterwards we walked along the harbour and had an ice cream. A logical way of thinking and the ability to problem solve quickly can make us really great friends and colleagues. In a 2009 study, it was discovered that autistic people can problem solve up to 40% faster than their neurotypical peers. We also tend towards logical thinking. So for example, if a friend came to me with a problem, I would tend to look at the facts of that problem in an objective way and then come to a conclusion on how to fix that problem based on the facts. In addition, neurodivergent people are often told that they look at the world in a different way and have a unique take on things. Which means that if we combine all the skills that I've just talked about, we are likely to come up with a solution to a problem that other people just might not have thought of. We tend to have a strong sense of fairness. People with autism and ADHD tend to have a strong moral compass, which means that we hate injustice and we hate unfairness. In my house, that means that we're awesome at sharing things. My neurodivergent children make sure that everybody gets an equal amount of time on their shared laptop. And say I've made some cakes, they always make sure that everybody gets the same amount of the treat even down to cutting fairy cakes into tiny pieces to make sure that it's completely fair. It also makes us more likely to stand up for people who are being treated badly or discriminated against. As a teenager in secondary school, I always made sure that I shared information or stood up for people when the other children were being, say, homophobic or racist. I just couldn't tolerate it. I didn't even care about the potential impact on me, and in fact I was pretty badly bullied because of some of the things that I did in these situations. All that I cared about was that something was wrong or unfair and I had to set it right. I love the fact that neurodivergent people have such a strong moral compass. Go us! Yeah! We are often punctual and we thrive on routine. Even those of us with ADHD, bear with me. I know that because of my ADHD, I have in the past often struggled to be on time. So now I have systems that help me to get places on time and in fact I'm usually early because I'm so terrified of being late. Being punctual and thriving on routine makes us efficient and means that we get tasks done. My eldest daughter has a really hard time with executive functioning so we've made sure that her essential tasks are actually built into her routine. She does those tasks at the same time every day which means that she rarely misses doing them because she loves to follow her routine. Finally, we can have engaging conversational skills and a brilliant sense of humour. We are great conversationalists because of our passion for our interests and our unique take on the world. I think our tendency towards having a good sense of humour might come from having used humour to cope with difficult situations in the past and also from learning that having a sense of humour makes it easier to fit in. We are really fun to be around. So as you can see, there are many skills and strengths that come from having a neurodivergent brain. Skills which make us fantastic students, friends, partners, parents and employees. I hope that in time these strengths will be discussed as frequently as the challenges so that we can all feel proud of who we are. We should be proud because we are awesome. Yes, you. You are awesome. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, there are a number of ways that you can support my channel. If you liked the video, you can press the like button. If you'd like to see more content from me, you could subscribe to my channel. And you can join my members club, The Purple People, to support me financially as a creator. Click the join button on my channel to find out more. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.